top headlines for the day. Bebo has been on the go throughout her pregnancy and her confidence and energy has not dipped one bit post delivery too. Barely four days into parenthood and the new ma and pa were up and about hosting a special dinner for their close family and friends on the eve of Christmas. Karina looked elegant and charming in the glow of motherhood. Despite being part of the fun and enjoyment, the doting mom kept popping into her bedroom and back to keep an eye on the apple of her eye. News is that Sev's kids from his marriage to Amrita Singh too were present at the duo and they were thrilled to see their new half-brother. Sara and Karina share a special bond as Karina takes a keen interest in helping Sara to shape her career in B-Town. Though Amrita Singh was not too receptive on hearing news of Karina's pregnancy, the kids have no issues and are super supportive and excited to welcome the newborn. Well, isn't Temu lucky to have an elder brother and sister who would move to the end of the world for him? Let us know what you think in the comment section. The Coffee with Karan 5 episode with Shahid Kapoor and Meera Rajput was sizzling and crackling in every sense of the word. To begin with, the guest couple were all cuddly and lovey-dovey throughout the show and they didn't shy from PDA at all. But the highlight came during the pillow round when host Karan Johar asked Meera about who steals the bed cover at night, to which hubby Shahid butted in saying that it was Meera who stole his pillow and he was left with no choice but to sleep naked. Wow! What a potent confession. Not the one to let it go. Kejo then asked Shahid if they actually slept naked and Shahid candidly affirmed the same. Now isn't that a shocking confession to make on television? Do let us know what you think in the comment section. Well, it is final. Shah Rukh Khan and Salman Khan would again be seen in the 10th season of the very popular reality show Big Boss 10. SRK coming up with his race is to promote the film in two back-to-back -back episodes before the finale. Didn't we see Shah Rukh promoting Dilwale on the Big Boss 9 season? And now we will again see these two stars rock the Big Boss 10 stage with full fervor and camera dairy. Shah Rukh and Salman separated for many years and came back together after a mutual patch-up. We are loving to see them together and we hope to see more fireworks on the Big Boss 10 stage when the Karan Arjun of Bollywood will rock again. While Salman is the bhai of Bollywood, King Khan is the bhai in Race where he plays the role of the Gujarati Don Abdul Latif. So stay tuned and watch out for this firework Big Boss 10 episode which is anyway gonna be a cracker with the presence of these two iconic stars. Aren't you excited? Apparently, it is Bhai who would now be teaching Katrina how to handle Ranbir in the promotions of the duo's upcoming Jagga Jasus. Yes, for when it comes to handling breakups, Salman sure is a king for he has handled so many of them. Katrina and Ranbir announced their split in 2016, beginning much to everyone's shock. And now with the upcoming release of Chaka Jasus, obviously Katrina would be conscious of her interaction with not only her expo, but also the question from the media. Well, Bhai would guide her well, but we sure are curious to know what he would tell her to do. Is it to dodge the questions, ignore it or to bear it all? Aren't you keen to know? After playing a doting guardian in Bajrangi Bhaijan, Salman Khan is planning to push his acting skills to another level by playing a father for his next venture. In 1998, Salman had first played the role of a father to a small lad for the film Jab Pyaar Kisi Se Hota Hai. And now, almost two decades later, he has opted to be dad once more, but this time to a 13-year-old girl. Salu revealed that the film is on the lines of the Step Up franchisee and is based on dancing. He further revealed that he will be playing the role of a properly trained dancer. He further revealed that he would be working hard for his role to get it right. Speaking about the film industry, the superstar said, Filmmaking is the most beautiful industry. 
we sell dreams. Why shouldn't I live mine? Apart from this, not much is known about the film, but we expect the Sultan to reveal the facts slowly in his special way. Meanwhile, stay tuned to this space for more updates on this interviewing news and keep posting your comments in the section below. Lela Me Lela is the song that is a great blockbuster on the music chart. Yes, the yesteryear song has really gathered a lot of momentum and believe it or not, it has crossed more than 50 million views online. Yes, Lela Me Lela was the hit song from the movie Kurbani, which was a roaring favorite of all. Now, with Sunny Leon grooving to it as an item number in the upcoming Shah Rukh Khan movie, Raees, we sure are really keen to watch her in action. But the song which was released some time back has crossed more than 10 million views thanks to Sunny's oomph and SRK's aura. Yes, in fact, we are loving to see SRK in a different avatar almost flirting with a spunky girl with all the spunk and charm of a perfect hero in action. Won't you like to see Shah Rukh's Raees if not for his masala role and also for this Lela Melela number? Kajol South Indian venture Velai Illa Pathadari 2 with Dhanush has come out with its poster and we now wonder if the Simran of Bollywood is slowly shifting to Hollywood. Kajol last seen in Dilwale has always been the girl next door, favourite star for all movie fans. However, she also has done Minsara Kanavo with Arvind Swami years back in Tamil films. With Priyanka and Deepika setting food seven seas across, has Kajol decided to shift to Hollywood? Anyway, these two posters sure make one eager to watch VIP 2, the first one featuring Tamil superstar Dhanush overseeing gorgeous Kajol and the second having Dhanush with a band of men in a tea kadai or a tea shop in Tamil sure has all Kajol fans asking for more Tamil or Hindi. VIP 2 is a sequel to the very famous Vellai La Pathadari, which was a great success for all who wanted a masala movie. How do you like Kajol in this new avatar? Do leave your comments below. Well, here is the teaser poster of Rangoon, the upcoming Kangna Shahid Sef movie. The first look is a vama and aren't we eager to watch the film? Rangoon, as we know, is a film based on the Indian independence era and it sure takes us down the history lane and has Shahid Kangna and Saif in a different role. Nothing much has been revealed about the movie as yet, however, the posters sure give a sneak peek into the world of Rangoon. Set for a trailer release on January 6th, the movie would be released on February 23rd. We are eager to watch the trailer too, especially after Sef, the new dad in Tinseltown, has hit news for the birth of his son Temur. Shahid and Sef together in a movie is going to create a lot of value and interest with Misha Shahid's child and Temur Sef's child growing up. We are interested to see how these dads with a common Karina bond would team up. How do you feel watching this poster which says a lot? Salman Khan boycotted Om Swami in Big Boss 10 in a fit of discontent. Yes, we have been seen how Salman has been reprimanding Om Swami for his waste time and again. However, Om Swami seems to be in an offensive mood always. Yes, and he apparently has mentioned he would be on Rohan Mehra. He has been in the news for all the right reasons as of now. Right because he felt his mental strength and self-respect was challenged and he did feel bad he raised his hand at Om. Viewers may recollect that Rohan slapped Om and later asked to leave the Big Boss house. Rohan was putting at stake rupees 2 crore by wanting to leave home. However, that has not been paid heed to and now we find the seeds of resentment. Well, so Om said he would be on Rohan Mehra, taking the resentment further ahead. To which Salman Khan has decided to boycott the self-made guru in the household. Salman is known to be quite intolerant to such behaviour and attitude and Om has to improve his disposition now to be on Bhai's wrong side. Well, knowing Salman, he wouldn't spare anyone who have no respect for hard work and dedication. 
सुपर स्टार सलमान खान ऑलरेडी हैज हिस्स कैलेंडर फुल फॉर द कमिंग ईयर ही इज प्लानिंग द लीड रोल इन कबीर खान हिस्टोरिक वॉर सागा ट्यूब लाइफ बेस्ड ऑन द इंडो चाइनीज वॉर ऑफ नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टू This will be followed by the much awaited sequel of the film Ek Tha Tiger which will be named Tiger Zinda Hai. So the kick star already has a lot on his plate but when choreographer turned director approached the sultan he couldn't refuse. But the issue of dates still remain. So maybe Remo will have to wait a while to feature the bhai in his film. But still the wait would be worth it, isn't it? What do you think? Let us know in the comment section and keep coming back for more news and updates from the world of entertainment.